Shalom, I'm Ori Nier. I'm the spokesman of Americans for Peace Now. Before I joined APN, which was about three years ago, I was a journalist. I was a reporter, mainly in Israel, at, on the West Bank, covering Palestinian affairs. I started doing that in 1986, and a year later, in 1987, the first Intifada started. The first Intifada, as I see it, uh, was not only a formulative experience for me, it was also an experience that started the process, I think, of, that we see today of uh, the, the brutalization, I call it sometimes, the West Bankization of, of Israel. In other words, um, the brutality that the young Israelis were involved with in the West Bank and still are, uh, is seeping into Israel and, and creating a more uh, rough, violent, gruff Israeli society. When I look back at the maybe two experiences at that time, the first few weeks of the Intifada, that made the big, a big impression on me. Um, I, I recall a demonstration uh, in a refugee camp halfway between Jerusalem and Hebron. There, were a, there was a group of Israeli soldiers armed with uh, clubs and, and uh, tear gas trying to confront a large group of uh, Palestinian demonstrators about their age with uh, rocks and bottles. Uh, the orders at that time uh, were very crude uh, when they were to simply go and try to grab, try to arrest uh, young Palestinians and beat them in order to break their bones so they would go, not go out again and demonstrate. And that, in fact, was what the soldiers did. A week later, I witnessed another demonstration around that area. Uh, this time I saw, again, soldiers uh, uh, beating a young Palestinian boy who was bleeding and taken off to, uh, to a hospital. And after that uh, incident, I went to the commander of that group, uh, a young officer. Uh, I tried to engage in a conversation with him and ask him about what he did and what was the, the, the uh, you know, what went on there. He didn't have much time for me. I managed to give him a business card. And lo and behold, a few months later, when he was released from uh, military service, he gave me a call and wanted to talk and, and explain what happened there, but also share with me his, his uh, deep anxiety about what was going to happen to him personally, to his soldiers, and beyond that, to Israeli society, as those soldiers who participated in these kinds of incidents on the West Bank uh, went back home to, uh, to civilian life. Um, Regrettably, uh, he was right, and this uh, happened not just to him and his soldiers, but uh, 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 thousands and tens of thousands of Israeli soldiers who served in the West Bank over the years went back to Israel. Uh, and it was one of the causes, I believe, uh, that contributed to what we see today, uh, a, a very, very troubling um, brutalization of, of Israeli society. This is one of the reasons, one of the, of the several reasons why we here at APN and our friends in Israel uh, with Peace Now are working so hard to try to end the occupation, to try to really bring about a different reality, a new reality uh, to the next generations of Israelis and Palestinians where they would not have to be tangled in this, in this, this uh, violent embrace uh, of ongoing violence and where the, their societies could, grow, could go through a process of healing. With your help, with your assistance, with your support, um, we could do so much more in order to end this, this uh, spiral, in order to end this uh, uh, embrace that I talked about, and to really try to, to bring about a new reality, to try to uh, bring both peoples to have a peaceful embrace, to cooperate with each other economically and otherwise, and end the uh, brutality and violence that they've been exchanging for so many years now. Thank you.